I think one of the more fulfilling parts of being an entrepreneur is how much we actually are able to grow in that process. Um, the limitations that you hit in life can really keep you stuck. And a quote that's really stayed with me that was actually the quote I put on the back of my very first business cards ever was, if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. So if you're happy with what you have, just keep doing what you're doing. But if you're not happy or if you want more, it's going to take different actions. And these different actions probably require you in a lot of ways to become a different you, a better version of you, more optimized to getting the results that you want. When I was beginning my business, I lacked a lot of things that were really required to be successful. I lacked successful organization. Uh, in a business, you have so many different things going on. If you don't have some level of organization, it's going to be really, really hard to keep up with everything, to get to a high enough volume of work to be worthwhile. So it's this juggling act. Um, also, my own mindset about you know being worthy or not worthy. There are all these levels that I had to overcome to become the different person that could move forward. Now, this is really hard because it's, it's your own self-work. It takes a self-awareness of how you're operating now. It takes an ability to learn new information and actually apply it. And then another part that's not talked about a lot is it takes reshaping the views of those outside of ourselves. The people in our lives have a certain view of us. They put us in a box. You know, Lucas is this, Lucas is that. Instead, it takes a lot of effort and energy to convince them of like, no, I'm not just a nine to five go to work kind of a guy. I am an entrepreneur. This is what I do. And we don't convince them with words. We convince them with showing. For the people in our lives around us, it's easy that they have us in this nice little box because now we're not a moving piece in their shifting world. The instant we start becoming something else, they'd like to put us back in that box because it makes things convenient for them. Um, the fact that we're morphing means that we're an unknown. And so as we keep morphing and changing and growing in business, it can be kind of scary to those around us. So how we deal with that is not to tell them, hey, I'm different, hey, I'm doing this, but it's to do it with our actions by actually creating what we meant to create, standing behind it and being successful, not letting them distract us. I see so many people, they get caught up in the drama of that. Like, you know, my, my parents don't believe in me. My friends don't think I can do it. Uh, and they put so much energy into that interaction and trying to convince them via logical arguments as opposed to just going out there and doing it. Whenever you're actually doing it, now they have no choice but to view you in that world as a different person because you are that person. You're not hoping to or trying to. So I just want to say that when you're trying to make these changes, there's a lot of outside influence that's going to try to pull you away from that. But it's important you keep your head down and just keep on doing the work. Um, remember, if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. Keep on grinding. Have a good one. Thank you.